Hey guys, Titan here. Welcome back to Silent Hill 3. When we last left off, we was exploring the other world. This time, in the hospital. Which has been a bit of an experience, to say the least. Anyway, we was exploring the second floor. So let's go back. Oh yeah, we also found uh, a bag. Which I have no doubt is going to be a key item that we are going to need to use at some point. We also had a creepy phone call from somebody. Two phone calls, actually, in the last video. One from Leonard, and one from an unknown who was singing us happy birthday and promised to deliver us pain. Which is curious. At least, I assume he's going to deliver us pain. He did ask us if we like to uh, prefer to dish it out or receive it. Now, personally, definitely prefer dishing out pain uh, than receiving it. So, who knows? Maybe he's going to give us a fancy new weapon. Uh, I am keeping my expectations of that in check. Hello? Oh. Whoever was here before is gone. So is that smoky stuff. What was that anyway? Yeah, yeah. We're not gonna we're not gonna think about that too much, Heather. Uh, so we can't get into there. Which is sucky. So let's go back down to the first floor. If we can. I'm assuming we can. Be a little bit shit otherwise. Oh, I guess we we're gonna take the elevator. Feed first into hell. Right, here we go. Oh, we got basement floors here. Oh. Can we go to the basement floors? Oh, I guess we're going to find out together, folks. Let's take this corner wide. Come out, you little shit bags. I really hate these things. I really hate these things. I like the sounds that they make. I'm just not overly keen on fighting them. Is there someone behind us? Ah, oh, there he is. Right, take him down, Heather. Uh oh. Come on, you monstrous fucker. Fuck you, pal. If you could die, I would appreciate it. Let's reload. I think it's dead. Ah, crap. Fuck you, bitch. Drop your gun. Ouch. That was a uh, not a pleasant experience. Oh boy. Last magazine. Um I guess we're going to have to go a little bit free and easy with our katana. Ouch. Come on, attack down. Attack down. Right, you bitch. Your ass is mine. And again. Come on, Heather. Another one. And again. Keep it going. Don't stop until the red water flows. We've got this. Alright, well. That's all the gribblies dealt with. The handgun is very weak against the nurses, actually. Like, really weak against the nurses. Uh, we obviously can't go out of that door. Because, you know, that's the door to safety. And I very much doubt we're going to be getting any safety anytime soon. Well, this room harbors a whole load of nothing, doesn't it? What's through here? Can we go through here? No. Come on, game. Some bullets. We really need handgun bullets here. The thing is, right, 
We haven't exactly been careless with our handgun ammo. Shame we can't get into the pharmacy. Ooh, save room. Very nice. What do we have here? There's a memo here on the chart. Dr. Midkiff. Please use extra caution with the patient in room 312. He should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim too. Oh. Rumour has it he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. <laughs> Please be careful. R. Crosby. P.S. It looks like the rumour is true. According to the head nurse, I do think he's a good person otherwise, though. Easy to deal with. Yeah, he's fine. He's a lovely guy. He just gets, you know, a little bit stabby from time to time. Oh, an ampule. Very nice. <laughs> there is a handful of dirty syringes on the bed. I'm not about to use them. That's for sure. Are you sure, Heather? A dirty syringe here and there. Sharing is caring. Okay. So, that's the save put down. Save is actually in the same place, I think. So, we've got the examination room. Which is that door. Okay. That door's not working, because of course it's not. Um, now... Let's have a look at the visiting room. Is that the visiting room? Aye. Aye, that was. What's this blocked off? Oh, it's blocked off by a large metal grate. You know. Uh, standard Silent Hill decor, I suppose. Right, let's go. I guess we could use the elevator, but let's... Not worry about that yet. Can we? Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, I guess we're not going down there then. Let's try the cafeteria. See if we can get ourselves a nice coffee. Nope. 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 Oh, it's locked. Okay, well, that's promising. See if we can go into the day room. It would kind of be nice. I'm running out of doors here. Yes, there we go. Oh, God. Um, we have nurses. And I can't see what we're doing. Oh. Is this one of Coleman's? The world is teeming with unnecessary people. Well, you know, it's God's decision that I fight as a knight of honour, as a protector of the seal. I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. Who wrote this? Some twisted individual, huh? I see this and I want to ask him. So you think you're the one that says so? Can we, like, skip past this, please, so we can actually defend ourselves? All right, I actually thought there was a a nurse or something that had appeared behind us. Okay. Let's read that. Oh, we can't actually read that again. I mean, we can read it, but we can't get Heather's description again, I don't think. God damn it. Never mind. Well, I guess we're going to get our chance to ask him at some point, Heather. I think that's a logical thing to uh, to surmise. Where was the elevator? Other side. There's an awful lot of rooms we can't go in here, but that's fine. We just need fresh beasts to murder. That'll make us feel a little bit better. Go terrorize some monsters. Right, let's try going down to the basement. If we can. I'm going to assume we can. Okay, nope. Nope. Okay, so we can go to B3. 
No, I don't think we went to B3 before. Um, before we went to the other side. Ooh. Okay. Uh, looks like we have a puzzle. You there, buddy? You good? You alright? You having a bit of a, a mischief? Sounds like he's not in a good way. Right, let's have a little look. Uh, Roman numerals. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh. Right, so... Uh, ah, okay. So, let's look at that again. So, one, two, three, four. Okay. So, I'm guessing... Three... Two... Nine, seven. Three, two, nine, seven. Let's try it. Three, two, nine, seven. Yes. Okay, that was actually remarkably easy. Oh, what's in here then? We do have our little zippy bag. Oh, cremated key. We've already had a cremate. No, we had a cooked key, didn't we? Yes. I remember. Okay. So there was only one locked door, if I remember correctly. I think. That's just... Oh, you don't have the map of this area. Of course you don't, Heather. God damn it. Um, back to the first floor. There's something about the hospitals in Silent Hill. They're always gribbly and just generally fucked up. Um, so that one was locked. Was that the only one that was locked? Yeah, because all the other ones are just straight up broken. Yes. Okay, that's not too bad. Right, in that case, out of the way, stiffies. Mm hmm. It's way too easy to get lost there. We need to go back this way. Excellente. Now, let's use our key, hopefully. If this isn't the right key, there we go. Of course it was. I was going to say, we would be kind of screwed. Right, she's weaponized. Come on. Ugh, too early. Too early. Right, you're mine now, bitch. You're mine. You had your chance and you squandered it. Is there just the one? Yes. Okay, that was unfortunate. She actually got a hit on me there. Not happy with that. Never mind. Ah, oh, bloody hell. I hate these things. I really hate these things. And we're seriously running out of hang on ammo too. Can we go into the restroom? No. Alright, let's just give him everything we have. Stay back. Heather, aim! I think we got him. We got him. We got him. Just keep kicking it. Keep kicking it till there's nothing left. There we go. Happy first birth. Happy first birthday. We're getting younger. I wonder if that's symbolism. Two rounds. Ah. Uh, we really need ammo. 
Come on, Heather, aim at the beast. Or, you know, not. Right. Damn it. The shotgun is bloody useless, actually. Nowhere near as good as the old reliable Resident Evil shotguns. Not even in the same league. Ah, oh, god damn it. Are you dead? You are now, motherfucker. Right, um let's check C1. Wherever the door to C1 is. Ooh. Ooh, this might just be what the doctor ordered. Oh, sweet mercy. Yes. Hang on. Oh, I fucking skipped it again. That's such shitty game design. Mash bloody X to pick up all these items, and then they throw you a line of dialogue right at the end that you cannot see again. Ah, there's something on the ground. Is it a birthday card? Happy 38th birthday. 14 plus 7... Plus 17 is 38. But it's not my birthday. Alright. I'm pretty sure Heather's supposed to be... Um, 17. I think we, we discovered this. Right. Yeah, the melee weapons in this game... Are definitely better... Than, than the firearms. Which is kind of disappointing, really. I don't remember that being the case in the second one. But the second one was a long time ago. What room are we in? C4. What is that? There's a stretcher here. Not your usual stretcher. This is more like an altar of some sort. Lit candles, a knife, and is that blood I smell? Did they worship that picture or something in the picture? Hmm. Those candles didn't light themselves now, did they? Mm, probably not. The title is Lost Memories. Silent Hill, Lost Memories. That was a... Um, was that the name of one of the games or something? Um, I can't remember now. The characteristics mentioned only in rare documents and dying out in the modern age. One characteristic, I should say, mentioned only in rare documents and dying out in the modern age is that of ritual sacrifice. <laughs> Offering prayers, pierce a man's chest with a copper stake, drench the altar in the blood which spouts red from the heart, and uh, to praise and to show loyalty unto God. Explain why that 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 uh, that shows loyalty to God. In another sacrificial rite mentioned in the same book, the victim is burned alive. Religion. This was a more dignified ceremony in which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to participate. Only the clergy could be sacrificed. Ah, oh, that's alright then. <clears throat> Similar to burning at the stake, no comparable rite can be found in religious practice uh, in religions practice nearby. It may have some connection with the main deity being a sun god. Hmm. Praise the sun. Even though this uh, religion exiles redemption, it brings to mind a dark and cultish history. Well, yeah. Huh. Yeah, so if your religion tells you to murder people, um, you're doing it wrong, basically. But this one is different. Seems like it was drawn a long time ago, somehow. Yes, well, there's definitely time dilation in Silent Hill. That much we know. Let's continue down the hallway. Hopefully we're not going to be sacrificed on that. But hey, you never know. 
hell is that? Something's fallen onto the floor. It looks like a severed leg. Yummy. So that's the elevator. Okay, so that's a broken elevator. We can't go that way. So, what have we discovered? I'm guessing... Do we need to put a sacrifice on there or something? We haven't actually got anything though, have we? Totally ordinary transparent plastic bag. This is from a trash can in the locker room. So we obviously need to put something in there. Oh. I wonder if we have to go get blood from that room. Because she did mention something about the blood had cleared. I think. So, that's kind of interesting. I guess our birthday present was all of that health. Have we influenced that somehow? I wonder if um, some of our choices throughout the game have influenced uh, getting the health instead of something horrible. Now, where was the blood room? It was on the second floor, I think. Or was it on the first floor? This is just a pure guess on my part. What do you think, Heather? What is your uh, brain telling you? I think it makes sense. Although I don't really want to go back into that room. Ah, we haven't actually been in the examination room four there. Hmm. I do get a horrible feeling that there's going to be nothing there. Let's go to the third floor uh, for now and check out that one. Yeah, because there could be something there. We are on... Almost 25 minutes now. Um, there we go. Uh, so let's go to floor three. And have a little poke around. Although, as I say, I'm fairly sure it's probably just going to be like, you cannot go to this room. The door is broken. Because they're all broken. They're always broken. And, uh, I mean, that kind of works for Silent Hill. It doesn't really work for Resident Evil as much. Because Silent Hill, there's all this mystical shit going around. Maybe the doors just are magically closed. Whereas, with Resident Evil, just shoot the fucking lock off, alright? Much more grounded in reality. Ah, here we are. Oh, this door is open. Well, there we go. Okay. Was this door always locked? I actually don't know. Okay, well that's cool. Um, I guess we're going to get a bag of blood. I put blood in the plastic bag. Yeah, wow, she uh, she put a lot of blood in there. Alright, is there nothing else in here? Ooh, there's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. Damn. Okay, well let's go saturate the altar. 
I can find my way out of this place, this place is a hellhole of the highest order. Right, so we're going down. Uh, what floor were we on? We were on the first floor, weren't we? Right at the end of the corridor. God damn my memory. Uh, it was floor one. Come on, Heather, you should be helping me out with this. After all, my old hangover, hungover brain is not quite up to the task that your young brain should be. Oh yeah, we've got to go back through that room. I remember stuff sometimes. Sometimes. I'm getting old, damn it. Kind of processing the fact that in, in eight years, I'm going to be 40. Fuck. Alright, big fella, calm down. Bloody hell. Ah, oh, for God's sakes. Let's just run. 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 No, we can't run through these things. You. Fuck off. Damn it. Run. 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 Really don't have the firepower to keep taking all these things on. Arrgh. I mean, we've got that, but I was kind of thinking about saving that for bosses. I guess the katana is our only legitimate choice here. Anyway, let's see what happens when we splash a little blood around. That was a lot of blood. From a little bag. <laughs> that is a lot. Could have just taken the bucket with us. Ooh. Oh my. <clears throat> well, well, well. Don't go down that trap door. Although it's not really a trap door, to be fair. Oh, there is a save symbol here, guys. Of course there is. And we're on half an hour. So, I'm going to save this game. When we come back, we're going to go down the ladder. Uh, and I'm not really looking forward to going down the ladder, if I'm honest. I mean, I am. But uh, I don't think Heather is. But we have got a lot of equipment. We've got, well, I say we've got a lot of equipment. We've got a couple of handgun rounds. I'm guessing this is to a boss. We've got a couple of handgun rounds. got a, a, a few shotgun shells left over. And we do have about two and a half magazines for our SMG. So we should be okay. So till then, guys. Thanks for watching.